Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Good morning. Shalom. God bless you. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Uh, today I want to go over John 3. Uh, John 3.16 is such a popular verse, but I feel like if we read over the whole chapter, um, that we'll get a better idea of what the, um, the gospel looks like in full. So let's go ahead and get started. John chapter 3. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly I say to you, We speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the con condemnation, that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he remained with them and baptized. Now John also was baptizing in the Aenon near Salem, uh, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing, and all are coming to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore the joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifies, and no one receives his testimony. He who has received his testimony has certified that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God does not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. So we see in chapter 3 that, yes, absolutely, that you have to believe in Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, in order to be saved. But Jesus also says that we must be born again, and that is of water and of spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. So 
I hope that this word encourages you um, believers out there, you brothers and sisters in Christ, if you were confused about um, what the true gospel of salvation is, it's summed up in this chapter um, of John 3. You can go back and read it for yourselves if you want to. And also for those of you that aren't saved, um, just know, answer the call of Jesus. Open your eyes, open your ears, open your heart uh, to the truth that He is the Son of God. He is the Redeemer. He died for your sins and for my sins so we can have eternal life. So I hope that this video blesses you, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.